When I was growing up, I always thought life was like a video game. I did everything I could to keep up the illusion. Doing homework was like completing a quest. Talking with friends was like navigating branching dialogue trees with NPCs. And making it to the podium at graduation was like killing the final boss. I kept these fantasies to myself, and I didn't think much of them until the details started standing out. Sometimes I'd be walking along a trail in the woods, and my eyes would gravitate towards a tree that looks just a little blurrier than the others. Other times I'd be talking with my parents and the conversation would seem off, as if their responses were just vague enough to make sense if I had said something else. Mrs. Bainbridge gave us way too much homework tonight, I'd argue. Homework is important, son, Dad would say. There's no way I can finish this project on top of baseball practice, I'd yell. Where there is a will, there is a way, Dad would say. I grew skeptical. I started testing the universe to make sure it was real. One by one, the pieces of the puzzle that I thought I had solved became detached. One afternoon, I punched my best friend Aiden straight in the teeth. His face recoiled a bit, but then snapped back into place. His big smile unfazed. Want to play Smash later? Aiden said immediately after, grinning from ear to ear. The next day, I tried to get my parents to say my name. Come down for dinner, honey, Mom called. How was your day, sport? Dad asked. Elbows off the table, dear, Mom said. This went on for the rest of the night. I couldn't remember the last time my parents ever said my name. Looking back on it, I should have just accepted it. It wasn't hard to live my life as the game intended. I could have been happy if I had drowned out all the red flags. It's too late for that now. Yesterday, or at least I think it was yesterday, I decided to push the game to its limits. Right before school, I stole my mom's keys, got in her truck, and drove. It didn't matter where I was going, so long as it was somewhere new. Eventually, the road got less familiar. I was entering the wilderness. In a half hour, I had reached the city limits, beyond the thick canopy of trees that isolated our town from the outside world. Except, there was nothing. The road ended there. The land just stopped. Everything was blue. Up, down, and out into the endless expanse. It was all blue. I stood there on the precipice, wondering what my life had been until that moment. I wondered what it could be. I took my first step into the blue unknown and started to fall. In those final seconds, the scariest thing I could imagine was living a life that someone had chosen for me. But now, I'm still falling. <laughs>